Okay, so we want to play Gunner, uh, but we need to know what the class does. So let's read the class skills. Okay, so chain trigger. After a charged photon art, continue attacking to build a chain. Then land another charged photon art to trigger a powerful chain finisher boost. A powerful chain finisher boost. What the fuck does that mean? It, it doesn't tell me anything. It doesn't say potency. It doesn't say damage. It doesn't say speed. So what does it actually mean? We're going to figure that out. But first, let's go down to chain boost. For a set time after chain finisher boost has triggered, weapon actions will change and attack speed will increase depending on the size of the chain. And it tells you the speed increase based on how many points you have right there on the side. So at a level 100 chain, we should be looking at a 20% increase in our attack speed. Okay, so after reading that, we still don't know what the chain boost does. So let's go to system, help, game guide, classes, and then gunner. And we can have a little tutorial on gunner here. So gunners excel at aerial mobility, dealing high damage from both close and medium range. Okay. After activating the class skill Chain Trigger, the number of attacks you get in will determine the damage dealt by Chain Finisher Boost. Okay, so seems like the higher the chain we get, uh, the more damage will be dealt by Chain Finisher Boost. But Chain Finisher Boost is not an action itself, it's just a boost, so that seems like weird wording. Chains are activated by landing a charged photon art and then increased by your attack hit count. Okay, so what they're trying to say is the more hits you get, the more the number go up. And finally ended with a chain finisher boost once you land another charge photon art. Okay, so you finish it by doing another charge photon art. So you do a charge one, you build up the number, and then you do another charge one to finish it off. The class skill chain boost will increase the speed of your attacks for a set time, among other benefits. Based on the number of hits you got in before your chain finisher was triggered. Chain trigger is an important class skill that can strengthen this further. Okay, chain trigger. So let's go back in here. Okay, so after reading that tutorial and reading the description on chain trigger, we still don't know what it does. So I decided to do a little computer magic and record exactly what happens uh, when you hit a chain boost and a chain trigger. Okay, so these two videos side by side, the left one is with a level 100 chain boost and the right one is just normal. And I'm going to be doing a uncharged bullet rave. And you can see that the one on the left, they both start at the same time, but the one on the left finishes a little bit faster. Okay, so it is making us move a little bit faster when we're fully boosted. Now we're going to go into the damage numbers. Okay, so here I am at Point Blake hitting Bujin with a uncharged bullet rave. And then here I am again hitting him with an uncharged bullet rave while I have a level 100 boost. And you can see that there is no damage increased. We already know that there's a speed increase. So technically, you'll be outputting your damage faster. But the numbers themselves are not going up. Okay, so you don't get any sort of damage boost while you are boosted from your chain trigger. Next, I'm going to be doing a charge uh, bullet reef. So let's do the charge one. Okay, so we can take note of those damage numbers that we saw. And now we're going to do another charged one while we have a level 100 chain boost and see what happens. Okay, so there's no damage increase again. We know we're, we're faster, so technically we're doing more damage because we're doing it faster. But the numbers themselves are not going up. Okay, well the speed boost came from chain boost because that's what it says. It says it, it makes you go faster. So what does chain trigger actually do then? Okay, so let's look at the moment that I hit a chain trigger finisher. I do a charged photon art while I have uh, 100 hits built up and the numbers turn yellow. And now I do a lot more damage. Okay, so it seems like it only boosts your damage for the moment that the numbers are yellow right after you finish a chain boost. But after that, you're getting no sort of attack damage boost and you are retaining your speed boost from the other skill.
And we can see that again in this other clip right here where the numbers are yellow and I do a lot more damage, but then I do the same move charged again right after the numbers are no longer yellow so I don't do that much damage anymore. So I found this frame data table literally by googling uh, NGS Gunner frame data and I found this reddit post, I don't know who this guy is, uh, but he's got a link to his frame data right here so we click that. And then right at the bottom here we have every weapon so let's go to TMG. And he has listed the frame data for each of the photon arts and the sped up version when you have your chain boost. I don't know if they're 100% accurate. I'm going to uh, hope that they are because uh, I don't feel like testing any of this myself. Okay, so let's take a look at the frame data he has listed here for Bullet Rave. So let's go with the uncharged full. I think that means that he didn't cancel the attack at all. And it took 171 frames to complete it with no boost. And then if we go down here to Bullet Rave Uncharged Full with the full boost, it's down to 142 frames. So that seems like a 20% increase in speed to me, but I haven't checked the math, so I'm not sure. Also, I have no idea whether he actually counted the frames uh, on the animation of the boosted version, or if he only just did the math and calculated that this is what it should come out to. But hey, we figured out that chain boost does indeed make you faster, and chain trigger makes you do more damage only when the numbers are yellow, so that's good enough for me.